मिडल किंगडम्स द गोल्डन एज इंट्रोडक्शन इन मगध द लास्ट मोरियन किंग बृहत रथा वॉज किल्ड बाय हिज आर्मी कमांडर पुष्यमित्र सुंगा हु बिकेम द किंग ही वॉज फॉलोड बाय नाइन अदर किंग्स ऑफ द सुंगा डायनेस्टी दे रूल्ड ओवर मगध एंड द गंजेटिक वैली and check the advancement of indo-greeks on the northwest frontier the sunga dynasty 185 bc to 73 bc pushyamitra sunga was a powerful ruler of his dynasty he defeated the greek invader menander in 155 bc and threw him out of his territories as a mark of celebration he performed the ashvamedha yagna and consequently assumed the title of maharaja adhiraj under him sanskrit became the court language and hindu religion got a revival he ruled till 148 bc the last ruler of the sunga dynasty devabhumi was murdered by his minister vasudeva in 73 bc who crowned himself and laid the foundation of a new dynasty kanava dynasty 73 to 28 bc he ruled the area around magadh the last kanava king was killed by the satavahanas the kanava dynasty was overthrown and a new dynasty of satavahanas came into power satavahanas 28 bc to 225 ab the sunga and kanava dynasties were unable to make a strong hold in northern india due to the weakness of these kingdoms several regional powers started emerging among them the satavahanas were the most important ones the founder of this dynasty was simuka who acquired the region of upper godavari valley which at present produces rich and diverse crops in maharashtra gradually they extended their power to karnataka and andhra pradesh gautami putra satakarni 106 to 130 ad gautami putra satakarni was a great ruler a great warrior and the greatest ruler of satavahana dynasty he recovered the lost territories of his empire and extended it from the malwa in the north to karnataka in the south He was a very famous ruler and was known as the Lord of South. The Satavahanas were succeeded by Rashtrakutas in Maharashtra and Ikshavakus in Andhra Pradesh. Administration: The Satavahana kingdom was prosperous and well administered. The kingdom was divided into provinces ruled by governors. Each province was divided into districts. and districts into villages each of these was placed under the charge of officials who maintained law and order and collected revenue trade the satavahana rulers encouraged trade they built roads to connect towns and villages to ease the movement of people and goods trade flourished with the roman empires of persia egypt iraq and arabia ships also sailed to malaya and myanmar art and architecture the rulers of this dynasty were the followers of hinduism and gave generous donations to encourage both hinduism and buddhism both the kingdoms and the followers of buddhism helped in the establishment of a large number of monasteries viharas for the buddhist monks and nuns some monasteries were built in the form of huge caves cut in the hills the beautiful chaitya caves have been found in karle near pune nasik and other places the amravati stupa andhra pradesh and the sanchi stupa near bhopal madhya pradesh are the most famous throughout the world the amravati stupa in andhra pradesh is highly decorative it contains beautiful sculptures showing scenes from the life of buddha the sangam age Sangams were societies or academies of learned people. They hold an important place in Tamil language and literature. There were three assemblies called Sangam held under the patronage of the Pandya rulers of Madurai. The Pandya rulers were lovers of learning. It is believed that three great assemblies or Sangams of Tamil poets were held between 500 BC to 500 AD. This period is known as the Sangam age. a large number of poets who attended these assemblies composed thousands of poems sangam literature the sangam age produced a huge volume of tamil poetry it shows an advanced stage of dravidian culture the works of the first and second sangams are now lost except one tamil grammar during the third sangam period literary activities reached their height and from that period about 2000 poems have survived The important works of this period are 
ಪುತ್ತುಪಟ್ಟು ಪುರಾಣನೂರು ಆಂಡ್ ದ ಸೀಕ್ರೆಟ್ ಕೂರಲ್ ಪಾಂಡ್ಯ ಡೈನಾಸ್ಟಿ ದ ಪಾಂಡ್ಯ ಎಂಪಾಯರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಫೌಂಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಅ ವುಮನ್ ರೂಲರ್ ಶಿ ಎನ್ಕರೇಜ್ ಟ್ರೇಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪೇಟ್ರನೈಸ್ಡ್ ಆರ್ಟ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಎಸ್ ಲಿಟ್ರೇಚರ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ಹರ್ ಸಕ್ಸೆಸಸ್ ನೆಂದುನ್ ಚೆಡಿಯನ್ was a successful warrior he remained constantly involved in battles with the cholas and the cheras he extended his empire he was a follower of the vedic religion and composed 